All right, so yeah, good to be back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Satsun. Today, we're going to talk about modules in Python and how we can use them in our own projects. But before we get into that, I am going to ask you to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like, and that's going to help this channel to grow. So without much further ado, let's get into our tutorial. Yeah, I'm gonna minimize this right here. Uh, we have modules in Python. And the first question that we want to answer is, what is a module? It's essentially a Python file which contains Python instructions. These could be functions, could be variables, it could be classes. And so you bundle uh, common functionality into a file and we can call that a module. And so the way we create modules in Python is we give it a name and then we give it an extension, .py extension. As you can see right here in this current folder, I have three files which I can call three modules. I've set some .py, tutorial.py and 2.py. So in Python, we have different types of modules that you're going to be interacting with. The first kind of modules that you're going to be interacting with is the standard library modules. These come with the Python installation. So once you install Python, you have access to these modules. These include your math module. You also have your string module. You also have your random module, etc. And so Python comes with a rich standard library. And so these are the modules that you use for common functionalities. And then we have third party modules. These are modules created by the community you will have to install them for you to have access to these and so you will use this pep to install the, that particular module for instance your pandas your Django your numpy all of those modules are external or they are community modules we call them third-party modules they come with extra functionality which might be handy to your application let's say you want to create websites and you want to start from somewhere you have to use Django and so you have to install Django so you use this pip and you say pip install whatever module you're looking for. So in this case, we might say pip install Django. But you have your module installed on your computer. Right? And then the last type of modules that you're going to be interacting with is what we call custom modules. Custom modules from the name custom, these are your own modules. These are the modules that you're going to create yourself. And so you might want to bundle certain functionality into one file. And so you can do that. And then you name that file and then it becomes your own custom made module all right so in python for us to be using all of these modules whether it's built-in or third party or custom modules we have to import them into the current file for instance right now i'm in this tutorial.py and so for me to be using let's say a built-in module i have to import it and so i'll use the keyword import so i'll import for instance if i want to use the math module i'll say import math if i save and run you'll see down here i have no issues no errors indeed because python knows where to find this math module what python does is when you say import math python is going to start looking at the current folder for this math module, it, if it cannot find it, it moves a level up. It goes to where you installed Python, look into the standard library and look for this math module. And then once it gets that math module and then it imports it into this current file. What import does is essentially getting the instructions from this file here and pasting it here. How do I get access to the methods or the functions or the classes that are in this math module? Uh, you can print the dir of this math module and see what is available for you. So if I am to run this, you see down here, I have quite a lot of information uh, that I have access to. So I have access to quite a number of functions here, pi, power, product, square root, etc. Uh, for me to be able to use this, then I will have to use the dot syntax notation. And so I know there is a power. I know there's a pi. In case you want to know how to use it, I want to know about this square root. I don't know whether it's a function, it's a variable, or it's a class. What I can simply do is I have to use this built-in method or built-in function in Python, which is called help. And then I'll say method square root. I can only access the square root by using the math namespace. Okay, because that's what I'm importing. I'm importing math. And so for me to access whatever is inside here, well, what you can see down here is I have to use the dot syntax notation, but I have to prefix with the namespace math. 
So if I am to save and run, you can see there's extra information here. It says help on built-in function square root in module math. And so I know that this is a function. And so the way I can use it is square root of some number here, and then it return the square root of X. So if I put a number here, so which means if I am to print the math dot square root of a given number, let's say 32, if I am to save and run, you can see down here, it gives me that result right here, 5.6555, blah, blah. So this is one way of using the modules in Python. Math calculations are common in many ap applications, and so it's already made for you in Python. And so it comes with the standard library. You could also use a different approach when you are importing. You could say from math, import everything using this asterisk. However, you should use this with caution. It's not really recommended to import everything like this. Uh, so the way you would use this now is you no longer have access to the math namespace and so you could just use the function directly like square root here you could also use square root right here without prefixing with the math dot something so if i save and run you see i still get the same output here i still get, get the help function for this square root right here another way we could do this is we could say import math using aliasing as MT. Uh, maybe you don't want to be always using math, math, math. You want to use a shorter version uh, of this, and so you would use MT. Uh, so in place of math, now we can use MT. So we can say print the MT dot square root again of some number, let's say 90. So if I save and run, you can see this is the square root of 90. And so these, these are various ways that you can import your modules in Python. So whether they are built-in modules or third-party modules or custom modules, it's the same thing. Let's try and use the custom modules for now. Let's say I have said on here, this is a module. It's different from my current module, which is tutorial.py. Let's say I want to use this module right here, satson.py, and I, I want to have access to this and this. And so I will simply import satson. So I will say import satson. We don't have to say import satson.py. If I were to say, import sets on dot pi and try and save and run obviously we have an error it says no module named sets on dot pi so we have to remove this dot pi right here and if i am to run now again now you can see we don't have that, that error i can print the dir the directory dir is short for directory it gives us the namespace sets on and the functions or the classes or the variables that are available in that namespace uh, but for now we can see we don't have any function we don't have any classes we only have variables right here so let's try and print the dir and see what, what we have said soon and so if i save and run you can see what we do have are the variables so you can see right here we have two variables name and plus and so same here we have name and plus showing up these double underscore are automatically generated for us each time you create a file like this then you have this coming into that namespace uh, called Satson. Uh, these are auto generated so we don't have to worry about this but these ones uh, you can see these are the ones that we're creating in here for us to use these names here name and plus we have to use the sets namespace dot the variable that we're trying to access which is name in this case if i am to print this if i am to save and run you can see it gives me that information which is inside here which says this is the module sets on the pie if i want to access this number here the plus variable i could just say sets on dot plus and if i save and run Right, you can see I have access to that. And I'm accessing that information from this particular module. And so this, this is my custom made module right here. I could also access this as a single variable without using the sets on namespace. Right now, if I try to use this plus without the sets on namespace right here, of course, I have an error. It says name error plus is not defined because it's only accessible via this namespace sets on. But let's say I just want to use plus without using sets on. That's where I can say from sets and import everything. And so right now, if I'm to run this plus now, we can use it. I could also say from Setson import just a specific function or a specific class or a specific variable. So I could say, okay, I, I just want to import plus. So I could say from Setson import plus right here. And so I have access to this plus, but I do not have access to the name, this variable right here. So I could save and run. You can see I have access to plus, but if I try to write name right here, so I do not have that access anymore.
So there are some times when you want to access only a single functionality, import only this functionality, and then you can do that. When it comes to third-party modules, you have to install the, the third-party module. So what you simply have to do is you go to your terminal. I have my terminal right here, and I can pip list to see what I do have. In my site packages, check out what I do have. You can see right here. I have quite a number of packages. You can call it a package or a module. How do you install packages, external packages? No, you can say pip install. Let's say you want to install Django. If I hit enter right now, because Django is already installed on my computer, it says requirement already satisfied. I could also install a certain version of, of Django by saying install Django double equal and then the version of Django, let's say Django 3.0 maybe. If you have your third party module installed on your computer, you can go to your file here and you can import it, right? So you can say import NumPy, which is a third, third party package. So if I save and run, you can see I don't have any issues. And just like we did with the built in modules or the custom modules, we can access functionality in this module by printing the duh, duh this numpy i guess there's quite a lot in this numpy module so you can see there is a whole lot of stuff going on here you can see there is quite a lot that's going on there are functions i'm sure there are variables as well in here and so you can try this out all right so yeah basically that's it that's how you handle or interact with modules whether they're built in third party or custom modules this is how you're going to import them into your project all right so um, i hope this video was informative helpful if you find it helpful leave a comment leave a like and subscribe to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out bye bye